started running as a young child, always running various races and ran cross country in high school. And yet I knew at some point I'd run, want to run a marathon in my life. So once I ran a marathon, I ran many marathons, checked Boston off the list, and decided that I needed to go either faster or farther. And faster didn't seem realistic for me, so I jumped into ultra running. Did that around 2011 is when I ran my first 50K. And when I ran my first 50K, I decided to run another one two weeks later. Then moved on to a 50 miler, and then a 100 miler, and after that, I was completely happy. realized that I loved the pain and the struggle um, that long distance running presses you to different heights, different levels. And so really at that point I just wanted to find harder and harder races. The further they were in more difficult terrain, you know, heat, um, things like that, every single race is challenging. I mean, when you're running 100 miles, 100 miles is, is just, it's not easy. And if something's going to go wrong, um, it will go wrong. And the challenge is always overcoming the challenge. But one of my most difficult races to date um, was probably this summer when I ran Vol State 500K. It's a race um, that runs you through five different states. You're mostly in the state of Tennessee in the heat of the summer with the humidity. And uh, you have 10 days to complete the race. However, it's still a race and the goal is always to finish it as quickly as possible. And before running the race, my mom was not well. She was sick and um, in and out of the hospital. And I spent some time with her and just really trying to manage, making sure she was okay before flying out of state. And so, you know, leaving for the race, knowing that she was in this, you know, state of turmoil was difficult as it was. But then she told me before I left that the race would challenge me in ways that I had never imagined possible, but that I would remain strong and that I would push through the pains of the race and that in the end, you know, I would make my family proud. And so that really stuck in my head the, the entire time, but it was just hard, day after day, pounding the concrete, pounding the asphalt, the heat, the humidity, the roadkill. But the one thing that always remained, even though it was so difficult, is the kindness of the people. The kindness of the people and the kindness of the states and that I ran through it just really kept me going. But that, that race was probably the hardest one to date. In the end, your mind has to tell your body it's okay to keep going or force it to keep going. And so, you know, in those times when I feel most desperate and, um, you know, there have been times that I've wanted to quit, you know, I have to remind myself just truly how lucky I am to have the ability to be out there.